Okay. We have some sound. Stream connection seems to be holding steady. There we go. Stream is adequately up. I think it's already here. Title has been updated. There we go. All right, I'm ready to go. Hello! Hi and welcome to some more XCOM Long War with me, The Zero. Alright, so... Let's skip right back into this. Um, we were in a bad situation. The more I thought about it... Oh. What's going on? Controls? Why... Okay, oh. Okay. I don't know what was going on with my mouse control, but there they are. That was a bit annoying. Right, the more I'm thinking about this, the worse situation I think we're in. Because we, we're going to have three overwatches, which is fine, but the Seeker is going to walk in and eat all three of them, and then the mutons are going to be free to do whatever they want. we got two people in half cover and one person that can be easily flanked, but there's really nothing else we can do about it except give the muton a hard time because... Apart from this cover, and like this cover, there's not a lot of places where they can hide from us, so... Okay, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully nobody dies. Please, nobody die. They didn't do anything. They may have even taken some damage from that thing exploding. Okay. Well, in that case... In that case, we definitely want to get Perez into some better cover. Perez could even move up here. How's your rockets without... Uh, 2.9, man. When you don't... When you don't steady those rockets, they suck. Um... We do have a floater on the loose. Um... I could bring Perez on the other side of the map, right here, in, into heavy cover. I'll be a bit safer. Uh, we can keep... We could send Moboro Road to heal Horvath. I think that would be a nice Yo. little touch. We do have three healing kits, so might as well. On va te sur pied. There we go. Horvath is back up. In that case, we can bring uh, Ruzika back into the aye nice aye. cover. There we go. Horvat. What can we do with Horvat? I could bring Horvat back up there, but I don't like that position too much. But at the same time, it's a good flanking position. Keeps, them, keeps their head down. And it's Let's a rookie. All right, rookie. You got to take one for the team sometime as a rookie. Okay, Death will steady his weapon. Ramos will overwatch. Ruzika will overwatch. We're still waiting for that uh, Seeker and those two Mutons. I think they don't like their position either. Still nothing. Okay. Okay. Interestinger and interestinger. Um, I can't see the seeker anywhere. I guess we'll just keep waiting for them. I have absolutely no interest in walking into them. So if I can let them walk into us, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. There we go, someone's coming. That's a muton. Alright, Horvax gets the first shot. Okay, and then he takes cover here. Ah, he's They're scared. No, don't kill Horvath! Oh, but... Ah, oh, there we go, Ruzika with the covering fire. Good shot. Oh, That missed Horvath. Okay. Okay, but that was... 
like all of our overwatches. What's the other one doing? Okay, we can't see the other ones. Alright, we got death with a 67 shot here. If that hits, that's some of our problem fixed. Come on, death. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's a good shot. Still not dead. We, we have Ruzika with two shots at 42%, though. They are not the best shots. Um, Horvath's got a 24. Ramos got a 40. That's about it right now. Perez could try to send a rocket in there. How far can you even? If we... No, he's got cover from that rocket. This is a... Sh Pardon, this is a shredder rocket. They don't work the same as normal rockets. Pardon me. I think we're gonna just throw massive amount of firepower at him. Oh, Ruzika! Thank you! He, he did have a grenade. Oh, crap. They have grenades. <laughs> okay, Ruzika's got one shot left, and he's our main... He's he's the pillar of this strategy, so we need to reload with Ruzika. Everyone else can keep overwatching. Uh, Perez actually probably... Mm, no, we need, we need those accurate rockets. And Mobororo and Ramos can overwatch. So one mutant and one seeker. Oh, here's here's the seeker. He's going for a sniper. Okay, one piece of damage, but he's not dead. That's gonna be annoying because that's gonna disable Black Death. Black Death's not gonna die from this, but he's gonna be disabled for quite some time. Um, 66% here with Horvath. We can try to give him a kill. Ah, one damage. Ah, uh, now this guy's gonna be a lot harder to hit. Um... Yeah, and everyone's flanked, everyone's freaking out. Can you... You have a 34% chance to kill this guy. Let's just try it. Nope. There you go. Death get, take care of his own business. De Death is a strong, independent man. And he will take no help from no one. Okay, so we only have one Muton left on the loose. That is good news. We can overwatch with Ruzika. Keep that rocket steadied with Perez. And how's the ammo looking here? We're gonna keep those... Uh, if they overwatch, though. Alright. Um, Moboro's gonna... Moboro's gonna reload. And Ramos gonna overwatch, because Ramos can be still useful even without ammo, because he's got grenade. But Mobororo without ammo is useless, so Ramos is gonna overwatch. And he's gonna come in. Ah, that spot, it's really annoying. There you go, covering fire, but... Yeah. Negative damage. Uh, Horvath. Oh, Horvath takes another big hit. Okay. Horvath is just like, really, Commander? You're gonna keep using me as a meat shield? Uh, I'm sorry, Horvath. And uh, Black Vet, I don't think we'll have a shot this turn. 47, actually. That's not too bad. We have Ruzika with his dual 42s. Okay, we need to bring Ramos up for some grenade action. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, Ramos is going to use the grenade action. Uh, can Perez do anything with his rocket? Come on, there's got to be... There's, oh, there's a spot here where we can hit him. He's got a 1.1 scatter, but we're going to try to hit him. Let's try to shred this guy. Come on, Perez. Do it, Perez. No. Shit. We didn't hit anything. Okay. That's not good. Um, Alright, Perez. Open up with a nice grenade. That's always a nice way to start. Incoming. Oh, wow. 
seven damage. I'm gonna be intimidated though. Don't panic. Don't panic. All right, Ramos didn't panic. Good job, Ramos. All right, we just need to get a sh to land a shot on him, and we've got him. All right, Ruzika with the Jewel 42s. Come on. Oh, Ruzika! Oh, Ruzika is a killer of mutons. All right, let's reload with... <sighs> Woo, that's good. Um, okay, we're going to bring Horvath right back in the middle, and Maboro is going to be like... I just finished fixing you up. Really, dude? You need, you need health again? How'd you stop getting shot at by all these mutons? <sighs> okay, that could have gone a lot worse. It wasn't perfect because Horvath is now going to be wounded forever. But it could have been a lot worse. And there's more mutons. Crap. More mutons. Of course. We got one more rocket. Okay, regroup, reorganize now. We're gonna wanna move to these two trucks here, or, or these ones here. We have some heavy cover on this line. So this is gonna be our target where we wanna be staying uh, for the next little while, at least. But right now, everyone needs to reorganize, reload, get closer to where we wanna be. There we go. Zeke is reloaded. Understood. Very Moving nice. Uh, Death. Death will probably hold like this Roger position. Roger. So we heard them mostly on the left side. So we will still want most of our sniper support on the left flank, and Ramos it's can just reload. Time. But um, Horvath, poor Horvath. <laughs> Seriously, poor Horvath. On the move. That guy has been. Getting hurt quite a lot. Um, there we go. Let's just wait up here. Um, yeah, seriously though, um, Rizika has just been wow, like hitting those 42% shots reliably and hitting. He's hit all his. No, he hit two of his covering fire. Or one of his covering fire. He's been Rizika's. You know. Go Rizika. Alright. We still have two motion trackers. And I know they're in this general direction. But I don't know how far in that general direction they are. So we're going to turn on our motion tracker. There we go. We see nothing for now. We're going to move in yeah, this position. Okay. So they're not that far. They are probably right around here. Okay, okay, okay. So we don't want to take this piece of cover just yet. Just in case they actually will be seen from that. So instead, let me let me watch that again. So the distance between So they're further away than this. This is the distance between this and this is this and this. So it looks like they're a bit further. I still don't want to risk that. Alright, let's bring Perez up a little bit. Boy. Okay, so we're gonna want to set a nice line of fire around here. That gives us a lot of opportunity. They might be coming from the left, but if they do, we're gonna have a surprise for them in terms of flanking potential. Let's bring Horvath up. Okay, good. Nothing yet. We can put... Ramos over here for now. Okay. And Ruzika can One stay move. like right here. Okay. Let's wait up in this Roger. position for now. Uh, steady the weapon. Perez, Maboro, Overwatch. Death. Death can reload his side weapon just in case. And Ramos can Overwatch. Yep, they're over there. That's where we, we thought they were. Oh. Floaters as well. We're not done. We got mutons and floaters. They could be in the same pod. Or they could, you know, not. 
be in the same pod. Um, okay, Rizika, take the corner cover. That's affirmative. Enemy spot. Yeah, okay, we, okay, yeah. Oh, crap. All right. Rizika's gonna be under a lot of fire. Um, we got a 62%, but if we move our sniper right here, Rolling. next turn, we have flanking shots on all of them. So steady your weapon, that for next turn. Ramos got the grenades. I mean, a nice grenade from here would be... Can we rocket them from here? Now that's too far. Okay. Let's move a bit more forward with Perez. Okay, can we rocket now? No. Okay. Prepare a rocket for the for next turn. Okay, Mobororo could eventually move here, but not this turn. We could bring Horvath here. Poor Horvath. Or we could bring Horvath here to send a grenade. We could also bring um, Ramos here to throw a grenade. Ramos's grenade are going to be more effective. Alright, Ramos, get in position to that's grenade. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, these guys might also have covering fire. But a nice HG grenade here should ignite those cars, and it should force them to think about what they're doing. Go on, Ramos. No covering fire. Good. Alright, oh, we're going to be intimidated, though. Don't panic, Ramos. Don't panic. That is such an annoying ability. Shit, Ramos panicked. All right, he's gonna hunker down. Ah, oh, but Horvath also panicked. Okay, that's all right. All these cars are on fire. So now we're gonna bring Mabororo. Mabororo mm, can't overwatch this turn. Mabororo's gonna overwatch a little bit, although he can't do much. And Ruzik is also going to just overwatch this turn. Because they're going to have to move. There we go. 29%. That's such a low... I complain about how low Ruzika has to hit. Ruzika just hits those low numbers. All right, what's you going to do? No grenade, please. All right, suppressing our panic soldier. That's not the most useful thing. These guys can move in and flank Ramos right now. Okay. It's a lot of fire on Ramos. Mabororo takes a reaction shot. Oh, that misses. All right, Ramos is flanked by a floater. That is not good. Oh, no. Hi, little toughs. Oh, no, not, not more. Oh, seven. Ramos is still up. I don't know how, but Ramos is still up. That car exploded. That was part of the plan. That car also exploded. Okay, Ramos is taking catastrophic damage, but we have our ace in the hole, a nicely prepped shredder rocket on these two. Es un placer. Es un placer, says Perez. Bam, okay. Now these guys should be a lot easier to kill if we can hit them. And that's a big if. Okay, what does the sniper have? 97, 82, 82. We have to shoot. Okay, let's try to kill the floaters before... We want to kill those floaters. If at all possible. Okay, Perez shot. Mobororo. 50%. Come on, Mavoro. Okay, one down. Okay, that's good. Cible neutralisé. Okay. Horvath, you got a 39. Come on, do it, Horvath. 39. Save, save Ramos, Horvath. Oh, okay, that missed. Okay, what are our, what are our choices? We can bring Ruzika to take a shot. 
Let's bring Ruzika to take a shot. I'm on it, Commander. Come on, Ruzika. 57. Save Ramos. Yes! Okay, Ramos is saved, and now Death can take her 90, his 97% chance right behind this muton. There we go. Is that it? That is not it. That is a proper heavy mission. Holy shit, Ramos is still alive by the tiniest thread. Ramos, you're gonna fall back. Moving out. You're gonna get healed. <laughs> hey, Momoro has got his work cut out for him today. Holy Six shit. Oh crap, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's reorganize, reload. Uh, let's Got bring death a bit more forward, and then reload, and reload with everyone. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Ramos, you can just overwatch here for now. Ruzika can move I'm forward going. and reload. Locked and wow. Locked. Horvath can Ready reload. Perez can stay on overwatch. What the hell was that? I don't know, but it didn't make any sound. <laughs> Okay, Maboro, reload. We're gonna wait a little turn here. We're gonna take our time. Black Death can steady his weapon. Ramos can stay on Overwatch. Ruzika, everyone just stays on Overwatch. We're taking it slow. There's no more Mel to expire. Okay, that might be Seekers if they're this silent. Let's turn on the motion tracker one last time. Let's start moving yeah. forwards. Okay, we got a target on the left side here. Okay. In that case... You can start setting positions. Just I'm on the move. start setting positions. Perez is now just a gun. Perez is out of rockets. That was a lot of rockets we used really early. I wish I still had some rockets, cause uh But I think I used my rockets where I had to. Understood. Let's bring Ruzika up. Alright, Overwatch. Some Overwatch. Alright, so they are right around this area. Okay, Shovel is on. Steady your weapon, Death, or... No, no, actually, mm. If we move here, we'll have heavy cover in case something goes wrong, but we won't be able to see the whole area. But I think that's safer. I'm all over it. Just in case something goes wrong. There we go. Steady our weapon. And keep overwatching. And they're right over there. What was that? There we go. Yeah, Seekers. When they make no noise like that... Okay, one good shot. That's a load of bull. How are we got? No invisible, please. Alright, they're all just gunning for us. Okay. Right. Right, Horvath. Move into here. And we need to get you a kill. And 73% is not good enough. I think you're gonna just grenade the lot of them. You should get a kill, and do some damage. There we go. Seekers can be tough, they're, they're counted as mechanical enemies, and that gives them a lot of armor. Maboro's got a nice 80% shot here, which we're gonna take. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, and they, they took cover from death, but we still got three guys to shoot. And uh, Ramos has got grenades just in case. So we're gonna start with uh, Ruzika. Ruzika here on a 96%. There we go. That should be it. Mission accomplished. Woo! Enduring Stallion. There was a lot of enemies there. And they were some tough enemies. We didn't take any casualty, but we got some wounded people for a long time. Let's go back to the base. Let's see how we did.
Alright. Tech Sergeant for Paris. Oh, Paris is now a Tech Sergeant. Nice, nice. Ramos is now called Duke. And Horvat got a promotion. Specialist. Uh, 21 days, 35 days for Ramos. At least they're not gravely wounded. Bunch of floater corpses, five muton corpses. Delirium, alien alloy, some weapon fragment, a tiny bit of meld, and some seeker wrecks. And a hundred bucks. Remember, we will be That's watching. Quite nice, actually. Let's go give out some promotions. Uh, always the best part of my job. Oh, we didn't give promotions last time, apparently. What happened there? Okay. So, Perez has got a promotion here. He can get Tactical Sense, more defense, Opportunist, or Mayhem. Plus two damage for Explosive, Proximity Mine, all Rocket Launcher. He's a Rocket Launcher guy. We're gonna give him Mayhem. Mayhem sounds really good. Yeah. There we go. Mayhem. Um, we got Sen, who's now called Wild Child. Ooh. Uh, Wild Child. Will to survive aggression. I like that will to survive, to be honest. That let... Um... Oh, wait. Was it Sen that resisted all those grenades? I'm not sure who it was, but someone was, like, tanking grenades like a boss. And... I like that. So let's give... Send will to survive. Uh, we got Sengupta. Sengupta's got a promotion. We're gonna give him Executioner. I just prefer Executioner. Um, Laura Gibson and Owen Gray. Okay, Gray... Gray could be a Rocketeer. Laura Gibson. Oh, you have High Will. Laura Gibson's gonna be a medic in that case, I think. Cause that's all she's got going for her, is just high will. So let's have another medic. There you go. And you get... I think it's this armor for medics. And you get a random piece of hair until like someone claims you. There you go. Laura Gibson, very good. Then we have Owen Gray. Owen could be another infantry or a rocketeer. I have five infantry, so I think I'm gonna get another rocketeer with Owen. Yep, rocketeer. There we go. And let's give you the rocketeer armor. Oop, pass straight through it. And you get a uh, random hair until someone claims you. There you go. More pro oh my god, all the promotion! Ramos has got a promotion! He took a freaking beating, Ramos, but he took it like a champ. Um, Ranger, Smoke and Mirror for support grenades. Or Heat Warheads. I mean, Heat Grenade can be really good. It can save your ass in like a terrible situation. Um... Smoke and mirrors, though, then we can start bringing smoke and and other uh, equipment on him. Ranger, just not what I use an engineer for. Smoke and mirror or heat. All of my rocketeers have heat right now. Support grenades. Ah, let's give him heat. What are the things we can get in the future? Repair, will to survive. Suppression, mayhem, then smoke. Now he's not gonna be a support, he's gonna be an aggressive. Like we can make a support engineer giving smoke grenade, extra smokes, and like dense smoke and stuff like that, but he's gonna be, he's gonna have heat, heat warheads. Yeah, all right, good. Uh, any more promotion? Yes, Pavel's got a promotion. Pavel's got 14 speed, so Pavel's gonna become an engineer. I think he he saw uh, he saw Ramos, and they both got wounded in the same mission, so they're gonna be like together, like like lying in bed in the infirmary and like 
uh, like in so much pain. And then during that time, Ramos is gonna impart his like engineer knowledge to Horvath. And uh, Horvath's gonna be like, and also Horvath really liked throwing that one grenade at all these seekers and was like, oh, I only wish I could have done more. And then, and then Ramos is gonna be like, let me teach you how you could have done more. So we're gonna have another uh, engineer here. Yep. We're gonna give him the engineer nice little blast shield armor. There we go. And you're gonna get a random haircut until someone claims you. Speaking of someone claims you, I think we have a customization. Yes. Okay. So, we need to find... Where's our best medic? We have a Lieutenant Corporal. We have Lieutenant Corporal. Uh, another a specialist. Okay, so... We're gonna heave Suteja here. Suteja has been adopted. Um... So, Suteja... Wait. Is that the, the right armor? Seven? Give me a second here. No. The right armor is eight. That's what I thought. Alright, Suteja, we're gonna give you the right armor, first of all. It's eight. Um, and you're gonna have a new... A new name. Your name is Baby... Baby J. There we go. <laughs> Rambos and Pavel, yes, definitely. The next uh, Men in Black. Um, straying around, throwing grenades everywhere. Um, okay, so our medic here, Baby J. Um, there we go. Baby J wants a hat. There we go. Any other hats in that? I think that's the only hat. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's give him a nice hat here. Oh, maybe, maybe this one? Ooh, that's looking pretty cool. Oop, wrong, wrong button. Um, or like a nice cap like this. Oh, the beret? Not the helmet. Um, <laughs> please not, not this hair. Not the XCOM one, the original XCOM hair. Uh, I think the, the toque. Beanie toque. That's a nice hat. That's someone you don't want to mess around with. Look at that. Yeah. I've come to heal your wounds, motherfucker. Oh. Alright. Good. I think that's it for um, the customization we have to do here. Alright. Sorry. Keeping track of... Keeping, keeping track of everything. The beret? Uh, the people are cl clamoring for the beret. I don't know. That is, that makes him look like, you know, he does things by the book. He's like, he's the one who's like, no, 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 you can't take this gun out and just shoot it for fun, guys. We have aliens to kill. Yeah, baby J. Yeah, I think that's, that's more of a baby J. Look at him. Look at that chiseled jaw. All right. Very good, very good, very good. Um... I think we have new soldiers incoming. No, we do not. We have a council report in one day, and we have tons of money. Um, so we're just gonna go to the council report, hopefully this time. I, I've been saying that for the past, like, three episodes. Um, so let's just wait till the council report, and then let's start spending all our money. Incoming transmission. There we go. Okay. Extremely impressed Another A! You can't see, I might have a, like a C and I'm hiding it, but it's an A! Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And All that right. is not a statement this council makes lightly. The council really likes me. Um, three UFO escape, that's not nice. But uh, other than that, we're doing pretty good. We didn't lose that many soldiers this month too. Last month we lost a lot of people. Two new scientists, one more engineer. Let's Will carry on. Be in touch, Commander. Yes, but before, I've got almost 800 bucks to spend. 
The new and engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We need to spend that, glad to have that money down. to make some money. We still don't have that thermal generator. This thing is taking forever to build. How many engineers do we have right now? We have 19 engineers, so we still can't build a new um, a new satellite uplink until we get one more engineer, but that's going to be in the works, and we need the thermal generator anyway. So one thing we can definitely we definitely need, I think, is an officer training school. I think that would we can start upgrading our squad size and officer powers. Uh, so an officer training school is a really good thing to build, and this is where I want to build it. Yes. Seven day, that's 200 of our space box gun. Uh, we can start excavating some more. Just not quite yet. Um, build items. Phalanx armor, how many days until we get our first phalanx? Six days. We're gonna build a second phalanx armor. Um, we have an auto laser in the works. We have the Gatling laser. We could build some more lasers, laser weapons, just in case some of them gets damaged. Uh, we could hire some more aircrafts. Yes. We're gonna order more aircraft. They're expensive, but they're really worth it. Uh, look at all this money, huh? I don't know what to do. Um, engineering, all right, we're gonna build we have one satellite in reserve. We could build a second one so that once we have the ability to take uh, South America, we just can take the whole of it in just one go. So I think we're going to do that. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We're going to build... We, we can build an alloy ship. No, we can't. We don't have any more enough money. Deployments. Alloy ship can be used as cover, which is absolutely amazing. Phoenix cannons. I've never, I've never really enjoyed unless they've been buffed and they change how the Phoenix cannon work. I've never really enjoyed the Phoenix cannons. Those are for our interceptors. Um, phalanx armor. Okay, I've got a second phalanx armor incoming. I think more laser carbines and more laser rifles. It's gonna be really good. Even another laser pistol. I gotta keep some money though. I've gotta keep money for um, exalt scans. It costs 50 bucks. All right, I gotta keep 50 bucks. So that second um, laser pistol is gonna wait, and instead we're gonna we're gonna get th three more new soldiers. Yes. More soldiers. Always good. Alright, we got 57 bucks remaining. That's just enough for the Intel scan. We can always sell stuff for the Intel scan, but I prefer not having to sell stuff until you absolutely have to, because then you get to that point where you need to and you already spent it. So it's money that I prefer keeping. Plus, sometimes you get some really good deals out of those. Speaking of which, do we have any, any deals right now? Satellite, satellite, and laser rifle, so no. Okay, well, let's keep going. Transfer complete. Ah, awesome! The auto laser is finally here. That's gonna give our gunners much more firepower. Okay, we got three people with stingrays, which is a bit more than what I'd want. So, once Smokey is back, we're gonna get one of these off of the stingrays. Alright. Let's keep scanning. It's the 2nd of June. Alright, we've built the motion tracker. That is good. Let's go check our aircraft still. 17 hours. It's the 3rd of June. On the 6th of June, we need to scan. Six sectoid corpses for a scientist. Um, do I have any need for more... 10 hours. Do you have any need for more... I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. 
I've already put the yes. new recruits to we work need 10 for this I've almost finished autopsying the uh, the thin men Ten sectoid corpses, and how many do I have? I have fifteen, and they want six, so no, I can't do that. Cause that's probably the next tech I'm gonna get, unless we get a mission and we get sectoid corpses just before then. But uh, it's not looking like I'm gonna do this request. Okay, stop scanning. It's the fourth of June. We have all right, uh, Smoky. Oh, we have a new raven here. Let's uh, rename you to Fender. All right. And uh, Smokey here is going to get his loadout changed to avalanche missiles. 12 hours. Very good. Okay, we're the 4th of June. Two more days. Autopsy complete. There we go. Let's assign a new research. What do we got? Yep. Thin Man Autopsy. Very good. Uh, we're gonna get so Xenogenetics is really good because it unlocks more thing, but we really need to get that uh, stun weapon uh, because now we're facing mutons, so it's only gonna get harder and harder to capture aliens. So we're gonna we're gonna start with this one. It's eight days, and then the next one we're gonna do is Xenogenetics. So let's start with that. Eight days. Very good. We have thirty. We have thirty scientists. Thirty scientists. We're doing good on scientists. Engineers, not so good. But scientists, pretty good. Oh, there we go. That thermal generator is finally be built. Very nice. Generator online. There we go. Let's go see our, uh, our power situation. Yeah, we get tons of power now. And we have another one to build here. This one we're going to tear down eventually but not just yet we can wait a little bit before having to tear that one down um okay all right it's june 4th on june 6th we scan and fifth abduction okay heavy ufo activity over germany all right let's view the abduction We're side a light abductions via the hologlow okay I've that's nice it's locked in let's uh let's go there Urban block on the light mission. So we're going to be training some rookies as much as possible. And we're going to be bringing two rookies, which is what I like to bring on a light mission. Where are the best rookies for the job? We didn't get our new ones, which is a bit annoying. Eleven sixty-six. You are slow, Ahid. Um. Okay. Wahid is slow, but that he can still be a gunner. So we're going to bring Wahid with the idea of making him into a future gunner. And we'd really want another sniper at this point, but we don't have any rookie that has the uh, the good enough uh, accuracy. Okay. So Sixty-three, thirteen, sixty-one. We have Denise Boucher here with a pretty high will, which we could make into another medic. But we already have four medics. Yeah, sniper is really what we want. Everything else we have four of. Uh, in that case, another medic, I guess. Medics are pretty good. All right, Denise, you're gonna be a you're gonna be a medic. Eventually. Let's hope. Um, okay. Who's going to lead this? We have Guang. Guang could lead this. Guang's back. Oh my god. Guang's finally back. This boy is still out for four days. Uh, oh, Thomas the tank engine is only 12 hours out. Choo choo. The tank's going to be back in town soon. Um, I think... Or a stray game? Uh, I think Guang is going to be leading this one. Um, in an urban block? Yeah, having gunners is good in an urban block. We definitely want some infantry. 
We could bring Ruzika again. Or we can bring Sengupta. Um, let's bring Ruzika. Ruzika is going to get a promotion uh, out of this. Uh, and Ruzika did really well last time we brought him out, so I'm inclined to bring him. Gunner and infantry. Uh, I would like an assault. Angivento and Zimenska are our exile troops, so we don't want to use them. But we could bring uh, Sen or Nuri. What's our other choices? A scout? My sc All of my scouts are still wounded for like two weeks. Holy shit, I am not nice to my scouts. I am really not nice to them. Uh, <laughs> an engineer? An engineer can do really good in the city. Uh, we could bring Lopez or Willis. I think Willis. Let's bring Willis. An engineer, infantry, a gunner, two rookies, a scout or an assault. A medic could also be really good. I think I'm gonna bring an assault. I think I'm gonna be bringing Sen or Nuri. I don't know. I am torn here. We can bring Martin. What else could we bring? Let's think outside the box. We could start training up some of these Rocketeers. Let's bring a rock. Uh, we already have an engineer for the explosions. Medic. I think we're gonna bring. Uh, we're gonna bring a medic. Let's bring Gibson in. All right. All right. That's the team I'm gonna be bringing. Let's give them their weapons. Let's make items available. So, Guang, Guang, you're going to have the very nice and brand spanking new auto laser with the laser sight. And we're going to give you the motion tracker, I think. I think that's what makes the most sense here. And actually, we're not even going to give you a laser sight. We're going to give you a straight up scope. Where's that scope? There you go. My buttons are gone again. Um, Ruzika, you're, you're already still strapped in from the last mission. He's like, I've been ready this whole time, Commander. Um, <laughs> when can when do I get to kill more mutons? Uh, probably right now. Um, we're gonna bring Willis. Willis, we can give you a laser carbine, some tack armor, a battle scanner. I think I prefer having the AP grenades. I mean, battle scanners are good. Don't get me wrong, but with the uh, with the motion tracker, I don't find myself relying on battle scanners as much. <laughs> Hello, the few one. Do you wanna? Do you want someone name after you? If you want, we can totally name someone after you if you'd like. If you want to be on this mission, if you see um, pretty much everyone except Guang, you could claim as your own, and we can rename them. <laughs> All right, Gibson, our medic, is gonna have a laser rifle. She's also gonna have a medikit, definitely, and I think. We're gonna give her a smoke grenade. There we go. Nice support from the medic. Uh, Boucher. Boucher's gonna get attack armor. She's gonna get a laser carbine, an AP and an HE. That's what I like to give my rookies. And Wahid. Wahid has gotta have a crappy little assault rifle. Um, and a pistol. An AP and an HG grenade. There we go. Alright, if you want which one which one interests you? Which which one do you wanna be? Do you wanna be a grenadier? Do you wanna be an infantry? Do you wanna be a medic? Or a, a rookie with unknown potential that will probably die in this mission? It's your choice. Well you know what? Let me let me start the mission. And uh, you can make your choice, and you can tell me, and I'll rename them after the mission. Let's do it this way. All right, so we have Guang, Ruzika, Willis, Gibson, Boucher, and Wahid, and they all have the things I want them to have. You want to be a rookie? Okay. And you have a, a preferred rookie then? Quickly before I go on the mission, you can be uh, Wahid or Boucher. You want to be Wahid? <laughs> 
We're just gonna wait on the few one for a few moments. I'm gonna do my little... A sniper named Few. Um, if you want to be a sniper, I can put you on the list. Uh, we, we have a... We have a few people who wants to be snipers, but I can definitely put you on the list. So we're gonna have a sniper... Named Few. And, uh... Alright, you can, you can put... Give me in the messages uh, if you want to be a male or female, if you have a certain helmet or hairstyle you want, and uh, if you have a hair color that you want, or a race. Basically, send me your customization, and then I'm gonna write it down, and as soon as I got a, a sniper available, we're gonna name it that. Alright, in the meantime, let's launch this mission. A light abduction. In a city. That's not too bad. That's not too bad indeed. Alright, let's begin that assault. Our target site is near the Devil's Calm. Ooh. Current updates from that's the That's a norm normally that's a terror mission. I like limits. this map actually. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. <laughs> Everyone wants to be a sniper because snipers are the best. Um, I like this map because you can get on the roof and you have like some great shots on the on the entire second half of the map. And you can clear the first half of the map pretty well because of the building is hiding a lot of lines of sight. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Devil's calm. Well, Guang is gonna turn on his motion tracker right up at, at the beginning because that's what I like to do. And we got potential contact right ahead, right in the street it would seem. So we're gonna take position against this building. And uh... We're not going to be getting much scouting info out of this motion tracker, yes, but... Oh, we have two! Two pods. Okay. Okay, alright. Razika, take this I'm corner. Good. Um... That's in case they walk into us, but I don't think that they will do that. We'll probably end up fighting them from this line here. There's some good, nice, heavy cover around here. Um, Gibson, uh, Gibson, 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 I don't want to push too far ahead, so I think we'll I take this half her. cover for now, and we can bring Willis right next to Gibson, and then our two rookies, uh, Boucher and Wahid, can just come right against On this building, way. waiting to take better position next turn. You can even Good run out here, Wahid. Okay, let's overwatch with Guan, Gibson, Ruzika. You shake an overwatch, but it's kind of pointless. And so will Willis. Mutons. Mutons and floater, and I think I heard drones. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's bring Guang in. Okay, okay, the door is closed here. And so is this one. So, we can move into here pretty safely, actually. As long as we don't go that way and we don't look out of this. As long as we tell our guys, okay, guys, don't look out to the right. Just go straight forward. Uh, we can set up a pretty nasty ambush on these aliens. Moving out. I like the idea of a nasty ambush on some aliens. Yes, sir. Let's all get inside. We don't want to see the right side at all. Just want to move in way. here. Take as many of those nice hard cover positions. And, um... Except for Boucher. Boucher is going to be like, la di da I'm staying out in the open. Um, okay. Run Everyone can overwatch. overwatch. And we're going to be moving... Finman. What was that sound? <laughs> all right, for a light mission, they got a lot of diversity going. Um, so we can all like get ready on this wall, and we can like open up with someone running to the top, and like screwing up the aliens. But uh, right now we're gonna just start moving forwards. We gotta be careful about that right corner, though. 
That right corner is what gets you killed. Okay, still nice. Still fine. I'm on the move. Okay, nothing bad. Nothing bad so far. We can even go on the roof from this point. In which case we might not even trigger. Heading there now. Willis goes forward. Uh, well, mechs, I don't even have the technology for mechs just yet, <laughs> so it's coming, but it's going to be not until at least next month, I don't think. Maybe. All right, Pushy can move in as well. And so can Wahid. Right here. Okay, everyone goes on Overwatch. We're taking this very nice and slowly. They're really close to us. Alright, we're gonna give the best positions aye, aye. to both Guang and Ruzika. I'm on it, Commander. Okay. We're gonna keep Gibson right here. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, that was a bit dangerous, but that went out fine. We can keep um we can keep Willis, like, right here, where he can he can run to the top and throw grenades, potentially. Do we want to take the roof this turn? We want to take one, one more turn, just in case. Just in case something goes wrong. We want to have all of our guys, like, ready to go. We're going to steady weapon with Ruzika. We're going to even steady weapon with Gibson. Boucher is going to just overwatch. Willis is just overwatch. We're gonna stay put. I like taking things slowly. Guang is just gonna overwatch. Okay, they're right on the other side of this door. Oh. Okay. Alright, Wahid. Can you move to like this spot without triggering? Actually, there's no point. Let's just open up that damn door. Or do we want to trigger from the top? Let's trigger from the top. Like here? Yeah, corner cover. Let's go, Wahid. Show us what you can see. There's potentially two pods. Wow! That's an alien and a half. Oh! -ho -ho! What? They're shifting their attack. They're moving around the side. Watch what the, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mama! Mama! Just kill the man! Um, alright. <laughs> Shit. Alright, we can flank this guy. With Gibson. But we can't kill him. That is... That's a light mission?! That was rookies on this! There's children's around! Alright, um... Gibson move here for... Oh, shit! Now the floaters are in on it, too! That is not good. Alright, a lot of them are flanked. We need to open up this door. <laughs> That's all the aliens on this map. It's gotta be. Knock, knock, open up the door. What's there? All the aliens on this map. Alright, let's start killing this guy. We can probably... Two shot him. Only three damage? Really? Ruzika? And that used up your good shot. Holy shit, that's a lot of aliens. That is... The number of aliens on this map is too damn high. Um... Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Willis... He's gonna good. come on the roof. And he's gonna grenade this guy here. Get rid of his cover. Break glass in anger. Alright. Blown open his shit. Now, Wahid. 56% Wahid. Really? Oh man. Could AP grenade him. I'm not sure that would be enough to kill him though. 
56 and he's got the shitty gun. Now we got an AP grenade. Come on, kill him. Please, please kill him. Yeah, okay. Okay, one gone. A hundred million left to go. Holy shitting balls. Holy, holy, holy shitting balls. Um... I don't know what to do! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um... A grenade on this guy would be good. We need to move Guang, that's for sure. Ruzika's got one more shot, but they're not very good. We can take one more shot at this guy. Or we can overwatch, actually. That's pitting down a lot of people. Yeah, we're gonna overwatch. Um, 73. Fuck. Fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck. Um... That is not nice. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, let's start with the grenade on this guy. Gonna hit the the thin men as well. The thin men are man, this this is looking really, really bad. This is looking really, really, really bad. I did bring smoke, but I can't smoke myself. Like there's try to kill this one here. I don't think we're gonna kill him. We need to... St Maybe we can try to kill that thin man? This is really bad. Hooray! We're gonna lose some people on this turn. They were like... There was nothing we could do there. They were all right on top of us. Alright, come on, Gibson. Okay. In hell. Okay, we got Ruzika and we got Wang. I mean, I guess we can overwatch with both of these guys. And that's gonna be it. Um, there's nothing to do here. Oh my god. This is not a light mission. Like. Smoke and hunker. I can't smoke anymore. I've, I've fired with Gibson. Uh, we're going to need to overwatch here, but we're going to be taking some serious damage. I think we killed two of them. Holy shit. This is a light mission? This is not a light mission? I mean, we can also... Uh, we could suppress someone with Guang. I think suppressing this one, because he's really close to flanking all of us, and he's actually flanking Guang. We can move Guang. I think we're going to suppress this guy. Okay. Aye, aye. See, the biggest issue is that all these Finn men, they're going to they're gonna smoke us out. And we're going to be pinned. There's nothing we're going to be able to do. This is going to be really, really, really bad. I guarantee it. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this, but... Uh, holy crap, I'm in a bad position. Um, if you enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Leaving a comment, that always helps. If you want someone named after you, you leave me a message or you say it in chat or you leave me a comment if you're on YouTube. And I will do my best to accommodate you and give you what you want. And uh, if you're on YouTube, consider coming watch me live on Twitch. And if you're on Twitch, you can go check my YouTube page for more stuff. So yeah, until next time, bye-bye. Woo, this is really scary. This is really scary, guys. I don't like this. I really don't. We're going to lose people on this mission, definitely. 
I can't... I can't see this going otherwise. Which is really sad. Oh, man. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.